welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Foam Fix in Minecraft 1.13. Foam Fix is an awesome mod that lowers RAM usage in Minecraft. So Optifine's really good at upping FPS, but it's not necessarily good at lowering RAM usage. That's where Foam Fix comes in, and as you can see, can drop as much as 50% Java Heap usage, also known as RAM usage, in Minecraft can run 50% more efficient using Foam Fix. That's why it's such a cool mod, and that's why I'm happy to say that it is updated for 1.13. Nevertheless, though, we do have a sponsor for this video, and that sponsor is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected server for just a few bucks a month. We love Apex so much, we use them ourselves to host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you're looking for the best host around, Apex Minecraft hosting is by far the one you want to go with. Again, you can check them out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. Of course, the first thing you want to do is actually go to the second link down below, and that will take you here, which is the foam fix down download page. Once you're here, you want to click on earlier versions over here. Now, the reason we're doing that is to make sure that we get the 1.13 version of Foam Fix, because if we download the latest, it's not 1.13, it's 1.12.2. We want to scroll down here until we see 1.13 slash Rift for Foam Fix. You see that? Once you found that, come over here and click on the orange download button there, and it will go ahead, take us off to this page where the download will begin in 3, 2, one and it will download in the bottom left if you are using Google Chrome. You will then need to keep the file and that's fine to do as long as it starts with foam and ends with .jar. This file has been downloaded over 5,000 times so you are perfectly safe in downloading it yourself. Now if you're on Firefox like I am, you want to go ahead and click save file here. Again, if you're on Google Chrome, you want to click keep in the bottom left. If you're on Firefox, you want to click save. Now we're not quite done downloading yet. We still need to download the Rift Mod Loader which you can find linked in the description down below as well. When you're here, you can go ahead and just click on in the top right down Download the latest file that will download Rift in the bottom left if you're on Google Chrome, where again you want to go ahead and keep the file. Rift has been downloaded 140,000 times. If you're on Firefox, go ahead and click Save File here right like so. Now, once these are done downloading, we can minimize our browser, and on my desktop here, we do have Rift, and we have Foam Fix. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries, don't freak out about it. Go ahead and click the Windows icon. In the top left for me, it's probably in the bottom left for you. Go ahead, click on that Windows icon, and type in Downloads, exactly like this. You'll have a Downloads folder here. Click on that Downloads folder, and drag Foam Fix and Rift They'll be in here to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're actually going to go ahead and start with Rift. To do that, go ahead and right-click on it. Go ahead and click Open With, and then you should have Java TM Platform SC Binary there. If you don't, no worries. You just need to come back to this video in the description down below, and you need to go here and download and install the Java JDK. In the description, it's called Download Java, and it will take you here at the breakdown.xyz slash Java, where it walks you through how to get the correct version of of the Java JDK, which you need in order to run Minecraft mods, whether it's Rift, whether it's Forge, any Minecraft mods you need, this article has helped 95,000 people. So we're definitely going to be able to get some help from this article. Now, if you do this and you still can't open with Java, you need the jar fix, which is also linked down below. This walks you through how to use it. It's a very, very simple process. Just download and run a program, basically, and you're done. This has been seen and helped 17,000 people. So, Basically, these will help you if you are having issues running Rift with Java. Nevertheless, once we've done that, we can go ahead and right click, create open with, and then go ahead and make sure again, Java TM Platform SC Binary is selected. It should be there now if you had to install it, and then click OK. Then we'll go ahead and say Rift is successfully installed. If it doesn't, you need to go run Minecraft 1.13 with nothing installed, absolutely nothing installed, and then you'll be able to install Rift. Go ahead and click OK here, and now we can finally get Foam Fix installed. Very simple to do. Click on the Windows icon. Again, it's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that, and then type in Run, R-U-N, exactly like that. Then you have this Run Desktop app. Click on that, and in this Run Desktop app, we want to type percent app data percent percent app data percent exactly like that and go ahead and click ok it'll then open up our roaming folder here where we should then have a dot minecraft folder and then in our dot minecraft folder we should have a mods folder but nick i don't have a mods folder what do i do don't freak out it's okay calm down all we got to do is right click create a new 
folder and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then go ahead and open up our newly created mods folder, and then take Foam Fix and drag it in to that mods folder. Boom, Foam Fix is now installed. We need to open up the Minecraft launcher. Now don't go ahead and press play, wait, hold on. Once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we're gonna click on the little green arrow here where we should have a Rift profile that says 1.13 Rift. If you don't have that, no worries. Go ahead and click on the three little lines up here in the top right. Click on launch options and then in here we want to add a new version. Once we click add new version here we can name it whatever we want. I'm going to name this play.breakdowncraft.com why, why would I do that? Oh yeah that's right because that is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com is our own Minecraft server actually. A 1.13.2 grief protected survival server with jobs, with an incredible staff, helpful community. You will absolutely love it. Come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com for the best survival experience you'll ever have in Minecraft. Next to version here, you want to go ahead and click on this right next to version, this drop down box. And in here, you want to find release 1.13-rift. Now, it might have to do some searching for this. It might not be at the top, but once we do find it, I will go ahead and click on it here. Uh, there it is, release 1.13-rift. It was hiding from me. Go ahead, click on release 1.13-rift. I'm also going to go ahead and make our resolution 1920 by 1080. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that so I can actually see Minecraft once it's opened, and more importantly, so you can see Minecraft. Now we can go ahead and click Save. Go back over to the News tab. Now we want to click on the little green arrow here, and we want to select play.breakdowncraft.com. Then we want to go ahead, click Play, and again, this says 1.13-rift there. Click Play, and it will finally open up Minecraft. 1.13 with foam fix installed lowering our RAM usage like crazy once we are on the main menu it's actually kind of difficult to see if foam fix is installed you might be like why is that and that's because with rift you can't really see if mods are installed unless you install the rift mod list which is a separate mod list for seeing rift mods are installed once we load up in game here okay I'm just on fire casually don't you join into your Minecraft games on fire? Because I apparently do. But once we're in game here, we can't really see anything. We press F3. Nothing really standing out there. So the best thing I know to do is just give me one second to drop the Rift mod list in here. I'll restart Minecraft, and then you'll be able to see foam fixes installed. So here's the Rift mod list. I just downloaded it here. I'll go ahead and link it in the description down below if you want it. But here it is on our desktop. I'm just going to show you me doing this. That way you can actually see that it is working. Um, this is our mods folder here. We can see right here it is mods folder going to drag the rift mod list into it then we're going to go ahead and open up minecraft 1.13 again we're going to use that same rift profile play.breakdowncraft.com rift 1.13 1.13-rift i'm sorry you can see right there under the play button now when we click play we'll have a mod list and we'll be able to see that foam fix is in fact installed and you'll know that i'm not doing anything to fairs for some reason people think you know, faked the mod if you can't see that it's actually installed so if we go here we do have three mods loaded Bone fix, Rift itself, and then the Rift mod list. So, Bone fix is in fact installed. Pretty cool stuff. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out, and I hope you enjoy Foam Fix. I would recommend pairing it with Optifine, which you can check out at the eye at your screen up there to see how to get Optifine for Minecraft 1.13. Nevertheless, guys, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.